So we have been staying in 8162, which is a standard balcony cabin on the Queen Elizabeth. Let's go get Paul to let us in. Good afternoon. And this is our cabin. And we've been very, very happy here, haven't we, Paul? Yes. It's a really decent size, as you can see here. Um, should we start in the bathroom, actually? Start this end. Start wherever you want, Let's start in the bathroom. So, bathroom is a decent size. Unfortunately, it's got a shower curtain, but as we do prefer a um, glass door. But it's been a good size, hasn't it, yeah, Paul? It's a good size. Um, decent power. You have got a little uh, washing line up there if you needed it, which we haven't. Um, and nothing else to add apart from the. It's called Quercus um, shower gel and shampoo. It's lovely, isn't yeah, it, Paul? Nice They've also got the hand soap, and I must admit, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. Quercus, we turn it around there, such as so you can see. Um, Penhaligans of London. Oh, yeah. So that's very nice. Um, but a bathroom's a bathroom, isn't it? You've got, you have got a um, shaver adapter there. And you have got little shelves and some st storage under there. So, talking of storage, opposite the bathroom, we have, starting by the door, which obviously has all your muster information on, which is there. Sorry, starting at the door, I thought you meant Well, me. just so you know, um, when you get on, if you've seen our vlogs, you'll see the what we needed to do. But decent wardrobes, we've had loads of space. You've got a little shelf at the top. You got hanging space all there and plenty of room for shoes. And the next cupboard, uh, well wardrobe, is predominantly shelves at the top, which has got your life jackets, but you've got a that safe's huge, isn't it? Yes. It goes it's really, really deep, deep and it's got a light in it, which is very handy. Also you've got another hanging area there. Um for shirts. For short things, isn't it? For what size? Shirts. For shorts. For shorts. For shorts. For shorts. For shirt. Short shirts. That's the one, yeah. And in this last one, we'll pull it open now. Is if you've got really long dresses, which I don't, because I'm short. <laughs> but if you're a very tall lady. Well, you could put your long dresses in there. <laughs> <I> couldn't. <laughs> ah, so yeah, so that's by um, that's been my wardrobe. But perfect. So storage is not a problem whatsoever in this yeah, cabin, is it? Good. It's very good. You've also got two hooks on the wall where we keep our dressing gowns that we've been using after showering um, and we've also got three little drawers by each side of the bed now electric points I'll show you when we get over there that there isn't any by the beds which as it's not the end of the world is it Polly um, it's fine we've also got your heat control there which has been worked perfectly for us and the bed Paul how comfy has the bed been it's um, I think it's the best bed we've slept on on the cruise Ever well for me, it is. for, for get, Paul, it is princess beds and, are hard to beat because yes, they're like getting into a big marshmallow. But Paul has back problems, and for you, he said this has been yeah, he's not had any um issues at so you're all. Questioning whether it's the best ever, are you going to question the fact that this is the best bed linen ever? Well, princess bed linen was nice too. Oh, I can't win anything, yeah. But the pillows on here are lovely, and just the little touches of the velvet, yeah. you, you just feel like you're it's quite. Elegant and luxurious, isn't it? Yes, they make you feel very special. They do, actually. And under the bed, we managed to get both of our cases, haven't we, Paul? So yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a box under a there. There's a wooden box here, which I don't yeah. know what that's for. But, but it, then our cases are... In front uh, of it, there's more than enough room for two... Yeah, for two cases. Good-sized suitcases. Yeah. And, as I say, three-door drawer there. Lovely, comfy little settee, isn't it, Paul, here? Yes. And opposite, you've got all your plugs. This is the only area in the um, room that's got your plugs. You've got plenty, though. You've got round pins, flat pins, English three pin, and you've also got more over there. Comes with tea and coffee. And, and cider. No, nope, Paul's is... just brought that back from the pub. <laughs> so, yeah, so tea and coffee and some biscuits. And you've got a hairdryer in a, um, a drawer there, a decent hairdryer. And also, you've got a fridge. Which, just so you know for Cunard, because we're on a four-day cruise, and if you do like to have a, a glass of wine, you can bring two bottles on, um, one, one per, per person. person. So we've put those in the, in the fridge there. So, um, so if, that's fine. And if you drink them in your room... Yeah, there's no charge. There's no charge, but if you want to take your wine of choice out for your evening meal or into a bar or restaurant or pub, 
they will charge you twenty dollars for the pleasure. Yeah, so, so it we really has to be a decent one yeah. to make it worth. We had friends around that. yesterday when we yeah. sailed away from Liverpool, so we opened a bottle, which is lovely. So yeah, you got your telephone, so you can phone your friends um, on the ship if you're travelling together. And we've had Wilbert looking after us, Paul. And he's been delight, yeah, hasn't he? He's, he's been stuff. absolutely lovely. One thing that um, Cunard do do do. Um, is they do a nighttime turn, turn down service, service and you get Godiva chocolates. A lot of cruise companies have stopped doing that now, haven't they? Nighttime, yeah. the ones for the last. Skates. Well, <laughs> so well done, Cunard, for keeping that up. Now we're just going to go on the balcony, which is not a traditional sort of slidey door balcony. You've got a proper old school um, yes, that's a latch, like a bolt, like a bolt oh. yeah. And then it's just a, a normal door. Which sounds a bit bizarre, but those that have cruised before know it's normally slidey. And then you come to a balcony which has got a decent depth, hasn't it, Paul? Yes. So, as you can see, it does look like it could do a little bit of rest here and there, isn't it? It looks like it could do with a little bit of smart and up. But actually, from a size point of view, it's perfect. You know, the wind is a bit whippy today and it does, it's quite rattly, but it is an older ship. And I. Let's go inside, Paul, just to explain about where our location. So we're on the eighth deck, which is right under the Lido. Now we booked a um, a guaranteed balcony cabin, so we were put wherever we, you know, we didn't choose our position, and we thought we we're just going because that was the cheapest way in, wasn't it? Yes. And actually, yesterday when we were out on the balcony, there was noise from the Lido. We could hear the saxophonist player and the. Um, DJ. to the dj but actually you know it was really nice so but some people wouldn't want that no, so certainly no foot noise no dragging type no it was only because when you're on the balcony you could hear that yeah which was a good thing so we thought well, i'll tell you what why don't we go and watch the uh, saxophonist play? yeah very so we had a lovely sail away didn't yeah. we so there we are so i don't think is there anything else to add you've got your tv paulie which shows seen. um the maps um, which I love, just to see where you are. Um, but we haven't been in here to look at the TV, have we? But it's um, obviously it does show some films. Yeah, I can't really tell you too much. Um, no. There is. They seem to run this standard sort of BBC ITV channel where it's like a, just a constant stream yeah. of stuff that's been on the BBC over the years. Yeah. And there is, like I said, there's some film channels, there's some sports channels, but not, I, I couldn't, you couldn't pin me down. No. Because we haven't really... But you see, we've been on a four-night cruise that's just gone to Liverpool and back to Southampton. Um, and you can see we're just on Land's End now. Um, so it's all, I, I do like looking at maps, don't I, Paulie? Yeah. So, so there you go. So we just come between the Isle of Scilly and Land's End. Uh, this is our last day on board, and we're really sad to be getting off, aren't we? We've really enjoyed our Cunard experience. A bit of a rocky start. I'll put a link to our vlogs to see what, so you can see what that in, entailed. Um, but Cunard are definitely a cruise line that we will be cruising with again. And I know your dad would love it because of the live music that's on board. But anyway, we're gambling on again. So um, I hope you've enjoyed our tour of our cabin on the Queen Elizabeth. And uh, we've got lots of other cruising content. So why don't you watch one of these videos now?